Okay, so uh, we're sanding the flats on the butts. This is a finished sand. And uh, we did our nails and the angles already in the last video. So now we're going to do the flats on the butts. And we got our halogen shining up against the wall. You want it close to the wall. Shining against the wall to show you all the imperfections in the wall. And uh, of course, use your mask because it gets real dusty. I'm going to start with this top one. You want to keep your setting goal a little bit at an angle so it doesn't flip or it doesn't scratch. How hard are you pushing, Phil? Not hard. No, right? It should do a lot of the work by itself. You don't need to push hard on the setting goal, it just flies. And uh, you just need to give it a nice smooth finish, but you're going to go after and make sure everything is good with your sponge. So you don't have to, to make it perfect when you're sanding pole. If there's areas that are a little, needs a little bit of work, it's okay. You can leave it behind and come back and fix it up with your sponge after. Mm-hmm. I agree. Phil is now catching the butt with the flat. I think that uh, that doing it like that, I think it uh, it just makes the whole look of it all together. Um, personally, for myself, I usually do the flat the butts before I do the flats. Um, for the same reason, it's just you know I don't want to over sand the flat. But Phil Phil has enough practice that you know he does it all together. Um. Always, uh, never try to go straight down or, or you kind of want to always go at a little bit of an angle. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's, that looks pretty good for, yeah. If you have a picky painter in behind it, in behind that follows in behind you, uh, that's you know, it's always good to run with a 500 watt halogen on your walls. short so sometimes you might have to jump. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's pretty much it for setting the flat up there and now we're going to do this, this smaller one. And the only reason why we have two flats on this wall here, it's a nine foot wall but the other house is really close so it's fire coated and they got to have special drywall and this is the only reason why we have two flats here or else usually as you can see against that wall. There's only one flat. Yeah, you see how like Phil's not trying to really buff out anything too much with the pole sander, but he's trying to get it as good as he can get it. So that when we go around and we do our light check, uh, it it's a lot easier on us and you know we're we're trying not to find over sanded areas, we're trying to keep it all very nice so that we, we don't have to come back and do touch-ups is the whole point.
It's easy to sand a little bit with the sponge though too. So uh, if you sand too much with your sanding ball and you gotta add more mud, that's that's a lot of work, you know. Instead of just leaving it a little bit and coming with your sponge and just buffing it up and making it real nice. I agree. You got that? Okay. So there we go. Now our wall is ready for us to go around with a sanding sponge and a light.